What if I told you scientists just pulled off a technological feat that sounds impossible, transmitting information without physically sending it? Well, scientists at Northwestern University did just that for the first time. It's called quantum teleportation, and it's been done over the internet cables that are actively in use. This is a breakthrough that could reshape how we communicate in the future. So how do they do it, and why is this such a big deal? Let's dive in. So first off, let's talk about what they teleported. No, it's not like Star Trek, where entire objects are beamed from one place to another. We're talking about quantum teleportation, transmitting the state of a quantum bit, or qubit, from one location to another without physically moving the particle itself. Here's where it gets a little technical. A qubit is different from the classical binary bits that power the internet we use today. A qubit can exist in a state of zero, one, or even both at the same time, thanks to something called superposition. To teleport this state, the researchers relied on quantum entanglement. Entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles are linked so strongly that the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, even if they're miles apart. Using this connection, the team transmitted the quantum state over 30 kilometers of fiber optic cable. Maintaining entanglement over such a long distance wasn't easy. Quantum signals are incredibly fragile and degrade as they travel. And here's the kicker. The cable wasn't just sitting idle. It was actively carrying regular internet traffic at the same time. Now, let's talk about why this is such a groundbreaking achievement. Most quantum teleportation experiments happened in isolated, sterile labs where everything could be perfectly controlled. But this wasn't a lab. It was a real-world fiber optic cable actively carrying high-speed internet data. The teleportation wasn't done just in any cable either. It used an active fiber optic network managed by Chicago's quantum research infrastructure. The researchers isolated specific wavelengths in the cable, think of them as special lanes on a busy highway, for the quantum information to travel without getting disrupted by all the other data. And as if that wasn't challenging enough, the team also had to account for noise caused by classical internet traffic. This real-world complexity makes the achievement even more impressive, proving that quantum teleportation can coexist with the internet infrastructure that we use today. So why does this matter? Two huge reasons, security and scalability. First, let's talk about security. Quantum communication is practically unhackable. If anyone tries to intercept the data, the quantum state collapses and the intrusion is immediately detectable. And here's where this ties directly into quantum computing. Today's encryption methods, like RSA, are at risk of being broken by the sheer power of quantum computers in the near future. This kind of teleportation lays the groundwork for quantum key distribution, a technology that can protect against even quantum level hacking. The second reason is scalability. Because this experiment used existing fiber optic cables, it shows that we don't need to build a whole new network to enable the quantum internet. We can layer it on top of what we already have, potentially saving billions in infrastructure costs. Now, it's not perfect. There's about a 10% error rate right now, but that's expected in these early stages. The point is, we're no longer dealing with hypothetical ideas. This experiment shows that a quantum internet is feasible even in this messy, noisy real world. In short, quantum teleportation over busy internet cables is a massive step toward building the quantum internet, a system that could redefine communication and security forever. And speaking of the future of security, have you ever wondered what kind of impact quantum computers could have on the security of cryptocurrency? Check out my video on it to see how quantum technology could shake up cryptocurrency as we know it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.